I need a stabilizer for my car. We're going to get Korean fried cheese. I did a pit stop on the way and got Chick-fil-A nuggies. I'm so hungry. It's midday. I took a nap. I got some extra crispy, but... Oh my god. They're so good. But so hot. Mmm! Oh my god, they're so good. Like, on some real. I mean... How are they not extra crispy? I'm not complaining. They were very nice there. But... Well done. Mm. I'm just so hungry that like everything tastes good right now. I'm gonna go get some green side cheese, which I'm very excited about, and we're close by, so we're minutes away. But there's so much traffic down this one street to get there. So I just keep snacking on these nuggets on the way. Mmm. These are the best chicken nuggets, hands down. I got snack on these all day. Mm. I also got huge large iced tea, which is so smart because I never have anything to drink usually when I get these Korean fried cheese things, so they don't really sell drinks there. So I got the biggest one. Unsweetened is like that one that just hits. It just it quenches, it curbs, it does all of the above. You know what's also in this area? Like so close, but I never stop is Jolly Bee. And I know there's like a big thing with like mukbangers, but I never go because I like it's right next to the Korean fried cheese place. So I'm like, why would I go to Jolly Bee when I could just get some Chick-fil-A and Korean fried cheese? That's my thinking, my logic, but oh I asked for something different. Oh my god, that car. That car's cutting through. So I'm not waiting for another left turn. That's the best thing about having a snack in the car. You're in no rush. You're like, what? More time to get to enjoy my delicious snack? Fine by me. Wow. The nuggets chick are kind of juicy. I fucks with that. I love a juicy nugget. Mmm. chick fil nuggets. No, 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 no. And I didn't make it through the light. Oh, darn. Guess I'll have another nuggy. Mmm. I should have recorded my Chick-fil-A drive through experience. That was the experience to film. Mm. All right, my turn. First time. No more nuggies snacks. I should probably pay attention. I'm at a major intersection. Hey guys. We got Korean fried cheese. I'm very excited. This is a journey today. Like if you watch my makeup channel, my, my makeup channel, my vlog channel, me being a beauty guru. If you watch that channel, I had a like a late rough start this morning. But we got the Korean fried cheese. I'm gonna let them cool down for a minute, finish off my nuggies. Mm. I hate that I love food so much. Like you're you're someone out there who doesn't like obsess over food and you just eat, you know, because you have to and give your body like energy and stuff consider yourself so lucky <laughs> I just enjoy food like too much mm. 
I love watching people enjoy food. Like, when I watch Stephanie Stewart, it looks like she's enjoying her food. And Zach Joy looks always so happy. He looks... Enjoying his food. Hungry fat chick. Seth Pappas? Veronica Wang looks. I love Seth. And Seth is very sweet. And she's like... She seems like the sweetest girl in the whole world. I think she's 19 or 20. Which I didn't know she was that young. But... Like, even through DM, she seems so kind and sweet. And I'm just like, oh, I'm... I was never that girl. Even at 1920, I was a jaded piece of shit. Like, I do think I'm... I'm very, like, sensitive to people's feelings and stuff. But I think I have so much, like, judgment. And I've had so much jealousy of people my whole life. And, like, I really thought about this the other day. I was, like, reflecting, and I was, like, I really don't find myself to be jealous of anybody anymore. I don't know if it's because, like, I'm accepted who I am. I appreciate what I have. I'm not really sure how I just stopped being jealous. Because I think I've been jealous of people from, from when I was, like, very little, like, kindergarten. I think the last person I was jealous of. I'm trying to think of the age that would be. I was 23 and I was still a stripper. And there was a stripper who was probably in her 30s at the time, which I thought was so old to be a stripper. I was like, God. She's so old to be a stripper. What is too old to be a stripper, though? And she had bought a Mercedes convertible. And I just thought Mercedes at that point were just like expensive as shit. I was driving a busted down VW, like I had a dent in the side, like I appreciated and loved that car, but busted. Uh -huh. and she drove it to work. And I was jealous. I was jealous of a lot of strippers. Even in my club. Like, none of the strippers looked like me, which is why I worked there. Because, like, honestly, she probably lo lo looked the closest to me. She was in her 30s, and she wore this, like, big blonde wig. Um, but she probably looked the closest. She wasn't, I think she was, like, Guatemalan or something. But she had, like, the blue contact. Like, we had very similar looks, like, big boobs, curvy. And that club didn't, none of the girls looked like me. They were all very, like, um, they just all looked so different than me. But I picked that specifically for that reason. Because if I went to a club where, like, people looked like me, which, uh, honestly, what stripper looks like me? You know what I mean? Also. Ah, ah, ah. Korean Fried Cheese Day. It's Korean Fried Cheese Day. It's Korean Fried Cheese Day on Trisha's channel. I kind of want to go with the potato right in the middle. Or does that ruin the aesthetics? Whatever. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. Wow. I haven't had this in so long. Mm. Just as delicious I remember. Anyways, to finish my story. If I would have gone to a strip club where like people like looked like me or I felt like whatever. I will say this club had like curvy girls. So like I did fit in. I, I would say if I went to a strip club that was like all skinny strippers, like blonde ass fake tit strippers that you think of, like the stereotype strippers, I would have been hella oh, jealous. I would never have been able to work there. <laughs> This club was curvy girls. It was like African American, a lot of El Salvador, Guatemalan girls. Um, so they were thick, you know, they were like thick girls. Like it was, so it wasn't, 
perfect body club. It definitely wasn't. I don't even remember like one stripper there that had like a body where I was like, oh damn, that body. But um, I just had to be like, like I, like I said, I was like the only blonde girl. So I just wanted to like be able to have that. Oh, that girl's next to me eating banana. We're like having a mukbang together. I'm eating fried cheese now. Her friend, oh. just two lonely people in their car eating in a parking lot. That was just really good. Shit. So, anyways, my point was I still wasn't the most popping stripper because I couldn't hustle. I'm really bad at hustling people, even on my OnlyFans. I sent out a video, if you want to buy it, buy it. Like, I'll chat with you. I'm just not a hustler, but I guess it's easier that way because they, they've come to my page for me. A strip club, they just go to a strip club for any girl. So I guess only fans a little easier. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm just not that person. I'm just not a salesperson. I'm just not like Unless I just, like, love something and just, like, a natural sell, like, right? You know what I mean? Like, I guess sex toys, like, I guess I sell those. Those are, like, things I guess I'm a salesperson for because, like, my code, they see who uses it. I guess it works, whatever. But it would be, like, if I had to sell these green fried cheese sticks. It's, like, I love them. I really don't need to sell them. I can just. I guess for me to sell something, I have to really genuinely love it. Oh my god, this is so freaking good. <laughs> I really eat these so ugly. TikTok in my head. There's this guy who does impersonations. I actually met him once, and he was. I met him very briefly. I think this is when I when I there's definitely when I was dating Jason, but we were like in a fight, and we had just gotten back to the house he shared with all those guys, like his roommates. And this guy Vincent Marcus was there. He was doing impressions of like everyone in the in the squad or whatever, and he had a Jason impression. It was like really good. Anyways, I saw him on TikTok, like he's on my for you page, doing the Mark Hoppus voice. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I got some guy. Oh man, did that Tom impression, and it went viral on TikTok like a couple months prior. So he accused Vincent Marcus of stealing, ripping off, and then Vincent Marcus liked it. He fired back and was like, "I did a Tom from Blink Two impersonation." I guess he just showed, like he did on TikTok, like months prior, YouTube, and Vine in 2014. He's like, "I've done this for long," and then I guess the guy ended up deleting that because he was like, "Hey, you stole my like at least give me." At least give me credit, bro. Like he said that about Vincent Marcus. But also, it's like, is there is that really an original impression? Like, it's like saying Christopher Walken. Like, oh, did Kevin Pollock steal it from Jay Moore? You know what I mean? It's like it's a Christopher Walken impersonation. I think a lot of people do it. It's like Nicholas Cage. Like people, people just do that impersonation. Um, it's like eating bananas makes you get ready for work. Oh, I really want to go be her friend. <laughs> that potato one was so good. I almost want another potato, but I'm going to just go ahead and go with my... Mm. Um... I'm a 
um, the dough on this one. I don't know if it's because you taste it more because it doesn't have the potato on it, but it's so much sweeter. It's so good to the donut. Mm. Remember when I was like skinnier and I could only eat one of these? Mm. Oh, she's moving her car. Where are you going? She's had a fuck work. <laughs> I've done that multiple times. I don't think that's what she's doing. Well, she might be. I don't know. When I circuit, like drop them in a, in a marketplace area. I've just got in my car and left jobs before. <laughs> and it was the best feeling. I'm like, fuck off. I don't know why I had so much confidence that I could just pay rent and not work. Like, I mean, I wasn't making money any money off YouTube when I first left in Hollywood. From like 18 to 20. It wasn't until I was like 21 or 22. And I was living in the valley. My mom had moved out here. So, like, for years, after like three years, I lived in LA or California by myself. And then. Yeah, and then my mom moved out. Oh, my mom. It's crazy. I mean, you know. I make myself somewhat presentable. Mm. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been doing TikTok. So funny that that guy called him out. I mean, Marcus, I did this since 2014. have the same ideas. There's been so many times where I've had video ideas. That seem very specific to me and unique. And then someone else will do it before me. And there's no way of them even knowing that I would have this idea. I mean. It does just happen. I remember back in the day. Beauty gurus would get mad. Being like she stole my chest hair cat makeup look. Um, it. I remember when it came out. I was like she stole my it look. I'm like it's a clown. It's a movie. Like you're not original for doing an it clown makeup tutorial. Mmm. But I did my glitter eyes, and she did with glitter too. As if glitter is like so unique and original. Wow. I'm so happy with my lunch today. <laughs> I have fried chicken and fried cheese. Mm. I've been going on walks. I've been going on walks y'all, so. I'm incorporating a little bit of health. Should I go sing outside? I don't know if stay in this parking lot. I don't think anyone's out right now. That lady was next to me, so I'm not. Mm. Korean fried cheese there! Alright guys. I love you. I might go sing on my TikTok. And if TikTok is not banned by the time this is up, at Church Like Fish 88, go check it out. Love you guys. Bye.